Right now at 5, paying respects to their fallen brothers. Law enforcement agencies from all across North Carolina gathered to pay tribute to two deputies killed this week in Watauga County. Sergeant Chris Ward, Deputy Logan Fox, Michelle Ligon, and George Ligon were all murdered at a home earlier this week. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Lindsey Klein. And I'm Brian Blakely. The gun has been, gunman has been identified as Michelle's son, who is George's stepson. George's sisters tell Fox 46 they are devastated, not only for their own family, but for the families of the fallen deputies. Fox 46's Robin Kennedy speaks exclusively with them today. And Robin, what do the sisters have to say about their brother and their brother-in-law? Now, the sisters say they are leaning on their faith during this very difficult time, and they are just heartbroken for the deputies' families, and they're really thinking of them right now. Now, George and Michelle Ligon had been married for almost 15 years. They have a big extended family, and the Ligons were well-known in Boone, George working for Terminex and Michelle working for Explore Boone and really involved in local theater. George's family says they didn't know Michelle's son, Isaac Barnes, very well. He's accused of killing Michelle and George, along with Sergeant Chris Ward and canine deputy Logan Fox at the Ligon's home Wednesday. Isaac was also found dead in the home. George's sisters say the deaths have been a massive, had a massive impact well beyond Boone. We're devastated and we are going to miss him and her and Isaac more than we have words to say. We also are heartbroken for the police officers who lost their lives and their families who are grieving. I would also like to say what I told my grandchildren yesterday when they said my 10 year old granddaughter asked me, Granny Sue, please tell me what happened. And I explained to her the best I could what had happened. And I told her that Isaac was sick and that he was ill and he was sad and depressed and if they ever felt that way or knew someone that did feel that way that they should talk to somebody and I would urge everyone that hears this to do the same. Funeral arrangements have not yet been made for the Ligons or for the fallen deputies. I'm live in Boone. Robin Kennedy, Fox 46. Yes, yeah, that's a tragedy, Robin. We're all sending our support to that family tonight.